The Fishing News is brought to you by Navionics, Okuma, Yozuri, Evinrude, Lama Glass, and the Star Island Yacht Club in Montauk, New York. The February issue of The Fisherman is out now. Captain John Raguzzo has the 2020 Marine Electronics Buyer's Guide. This year's class of electronics are bringing new groundbreaking and opening buyers to a whole new world of options. Then Anthony Cretus has a how-to article on how to make your own hookout. With catch and release increasingly popular and the growing concern about release mortality, this is a tool you should not be without. Are you on the hunt for a monster blackfish? Then check out Frank Mahalik's story on taking togging on the road. It's the search for your personal best with a big willy white chin. Now let's check in with the fishing reports with senior editor Fred Galafaro. Hey Tim, and uh, boy, we had like a week and a half of some good cod fishing. It looked like it was going, uh, rolling along pretty good. And then since the middle of last week, it slumped a bit. Uh, in Montauk, there were a couple of tough days there when the boats could get out. Uh, Captain Steve Jr. on the Viking Five Star uh, said Thursday started off with an excellent start. They had fish up to 30 pounds uh, first thing in the morning, and then the rest of the day was tough. The bite died off, and they had a tough time the rest of the day. Uh, Friday was a pretty tough trip uh, all the way around. Uh, they had a handful of fish early in the day, and then uh, the rest the rest of the day was just a very slow pick. Uh, they did not sail uh, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday or Tuesday for that matter because of the weather. Uh, over on the Viking Star, Steve Sr. Uh, reported Thursday was a slow day. They picked some cod in the morning, and then that died off too as the day went on. Uh, Friday was slow. They ran into a lot of dogfish out deep where they had, they had been having good codfish action. And then um, they moved inshore. They, uh, they picked away some fish on the drift, and then they anchored up. They had a decent shot for a little bit with, uh, with some cod and the gulls. Then the wind switched to northeast, and that, that bite died off also. And again, uh, they weren't out uh, from Saturday through Tuesday, so hard to get a handle on exactly you know, what's going on out, out on the east end. But uh, they are sailing uh, uh, any, any days that the weather allows now. Uh, they'll, be, they'll be going out. And go to the uh, viking.com and get an update on their sailing schedule there. Uh, further west on the Laura Lee, Captain Joe said Thursday was okay. But uh, less cod than they had been catching, but they did have ling, porgies, and haddock to keep rods bending during the day. Uh, Friday uh, totaled 86 cod, some ling, uh, some tog that had to be returned, a uh, bunch of bagals, and even a fluke, of co which of course was returned also. Uh, again, you know they'll sail when the weather when the weather permits. Uh, they are, right now they are planning on sailing tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. So. Keep an eye on the weather and again check with them to make sure they're leaving the dock. Uh, over on the Super Hawk, Captain Steve, they're busy now doing some annual maintenance, but he is planning on, uh, on doing uh, cod trips uh, Saturday, February 8th. They should be back, uh, back to fishing, but again, double check the sailing schedule. You can go to his Facebook page for, for an update on that, but they're figuring by uh, Saturday, February 8th, he'll be back on the cod run. Uh, on the Captain Lou fleet, uh, right now they're gearing up for March and April when they're going to be doing canyon tilefish trips. They'll be targeting golden tilefish. Uh, give them a call for specific dates, and then I'd say it's not a daily thing, but they do have several trips in both those months. And uh, you can get hold of them at 516 623 5823. White perch. Uh, some decent fishing in some of the tidal creeks along the south shore. Uh, again, the key is very light tackle and small jigs, 1 8 ounce to 3 16 ounce jig heads. Tipped with worm right now seems to be uh, getting the most attention, but you'll also catch them on uh, curly tail grubs. Chartreuse is a good cho color choice. Uh, or marabou jig, same thing there. Uh, chartreuse is good. Sometimes black uh, can surprise you too uh, with the perch. Uh, herring, uh, scattered, I'd say scattered and inconsistent uh, with the exception of some better fishing way to the west, and that's been the case uh, since the end of the fall. Uh, you know, places like Magnolia Pier, Coney Island, Canarsie Pier, 69th Street Pier, 
that seems to be the most consistent action. We did have uh, a few decent reports uh, up on the North Shore from Hempstead Harbor. Uh, don't forget, uh, this coming weekend, Super Bowl Sunday, in fact, is the Route 110 flea market. That's at Camelot Hall in Melville. Uh, hours are 9 to 3, $5 to get in at the door, and free for children under 12. Tim, back to you. Here's a list of some of the party boats that are sailing for cod this winter. Sunday, February 9th, the All Pro Fishing Expo and Workshops are back at the Huntington Hilton. Just 16 bucks admission includes giveaways, the expo, and you get New York's most comprehensive fishing classes for free. If you're sharpening your skills or learning new ones, learn from New York's finest fishermen, the All Pro way. And don't forget, there'll be over 10,000 square feet of the area's finest tackle retailers showcasing their latest gear. Go to allproexpo.com to buy discounted tickets online and save an additional 10% with promo code FISHERMAN. Captain Al is hundreds of miles out in the Pacific and checked in with his largest yellowfin of the trip. The tuna weighed in at 177 pounds. Check out the link to see what long-range tuna fishing is all about. Now on the lighter side, let's check in with Paul McCain from River Bay Outfitters. Good morning, Tim. Well, there's not a tremendous amount of fishing reports to be had because we just got back the fly fishing, sh the largest fly fishing show in the country was at Edison this past weekend. And it was a great time. We had a terrific time there. We met a lot of good friends. I saw all the captains, Captain Dave Flanagan. I saw Captain Tim O'Rourke. I saw, uh, you know, several, quite a few of them. And it was a great time. But getting back to what is, there is fishing on the island. The Connecticut, of course, is always fishing well. The uh, tidal sections of the, of the uh, Nessaquag, you could also fish. There are some sea runs coming in. Uh, I heard some fish over by Bubbles Falls. Also some fish, uh, the Carmen's, the tidal section. Uh, and there's white perch around. So there is fish to be had. We're doing mostly fly time right now. Uh, and this week, we actually did two flies that are pretty unique. One is this uh, soft tackle, uh, pheasant tail soft tackle, which is going to be a great fly fishing as soon as those parks open up. And another one, because we had Karen Miller from Zenton Car in our shop, and in honor of her, and she did a fabulous job, by the way, so a fabulous presentation. Uh, we are tied also the killer kabari, which is a, a Tenkara style fly. So we, we had a terrific time, a good turnout for our flight time classes. As always, you can join us. Anybody can come in. Fresh water is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Salt water is Thursday morning or Thursday night. So just drive it. Five dollars a class, you can't beat it. Uh, until then, well, tight lines, everybody, and I uh, hope to see you soon. It's the 37th Annual Sport Fishing Federation Forum and Auction, February 15th and 16th. Get your fishing season started with over 50 exhibitors and more than 20 informative seminars featuring surf, inshore, offshore, wreck, bottom fishing, freshwater, and much more. Take part in the giant live auction on Sunday. Proceeds to benefit our Teach a Kid Fishing Program. Come join in the fun at the New York Sport Fishing Federation Forum and Auction, February 15th and 16th at the Freeport Recreation Center, Freeport, New York. Peter Tarnowski has a freshwater report this week. Thanks, Tim. Well, saltwater fishing is pretty dead this time of year, at least locally, if you don't want to travel two hours out to do some cod fishing. So freshwater fishing is a good alternative, especially in places like the Connect Quat River. Uh, was there this past weekend where uh, we were hitting on some nice sized brook trout and uh, some jumbo rainbows on um, mock flies like this. Here's a video showing some of the action. Here's some exciting news for all you cord cutters out there. 
The Fisherman is now on Amazon Fire TV, Roku, Apple TV, and Android TV. So now you can watch this broadcast and our other video content on the big screen. Just search for The Fisherman TV on any of those devices. I hope you had a chance to check out the New York Boat Show and visit the CPRO booth and view their latest center console models. The showroom is located in Lindenhurst and it's on the water so you can go for a test drive when it gets warmer, of course. Here are some upcoming fishing events. Remember, like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and tap on the bell to be notified instantly when we post a new video on YouTube. And of course, be a subscriber to The Fisherman Magazine to be part of the Dream Boat Contest. Check out this video's description on YouTube for all the related links and more information. Stop by and visit us at one of the upcoming shows. I hope to see you there.